Welcome back to the show. You know, here on the Morning Blend, we love to keep it local, and that's exactly what we are doing today. And so I'm going to actually use this cheat sheet because I want to read this place or read about this place. If you are looking for a place to read, spruce up your book collection, take a class, enjoy a bottle of wine, work remotely, try new types of wine, chat with friends, or learn something new. That is quite the list, but there is one spot you can do all of that. We are excited to bring in book and bottles owner, Tara. Tara, how have you been today? Good. Thanks so much for having me on. You had so much. I wasn't even going to attempt to memorize. <laughs> I just wanted to read it there because there's so much that can happen at your St. Pete location, but so much has happened since you opened. Only a few days before the pandemic hit St. Pete. Take us back. Take us back to this idea and how you've now made it a reality and one of the most difficult times we faced. Well, I'm a new business owner, so all of this is new for me. Um, I opened the store for the first time, I think, two or three days before the city of St. Pete shut down. Then we pivoted really, really quickly and started doing online um, and wine delivery around St. Pete to stay in business. And so that was pretty successful, but um, I'm glad that that's over. I started the business because I wanted to talk to people. I wanted to see people interacting and enjoying each other's company and learning something new and getting to, I love looking at somebody while they try a new wine and going, oh, oh, that's really good. I like that. And um, I'm just so glad that we're finally at a place where we can do that again. So we I reopened in mid-May and we've been slowly um, scaling up so that we can keep people safe and still do the things that we love to do. Taking a look at some of these pictures, I mean, it looks like you're actually like your wine selection is pretty large. So I'm curious, you must be a lover of both, which you're not alone, right? I would ask which comes first, which <laughs> the bottle. It's kind of like the chicken and the egg maybe, right? Yeah. I mean, I would definitely say that I'm a reader first because I started that at a young age. I waited <laughs> to be an adult to drink, of course. Um, but they're both, they're both so intertwined. I think that yeah. it's very natural for people who love one to love another. Um, you know, books and wine both tell stories. You can go down the rabbit hole in both of them. There's so many different options, so many different flavors and tastes and genres that you can really spend a lifetime learning about and enjoying both of those hobbies. You're so right. That, that's a very good point that you can continue to learn about both. One of the things that stuck out to me, though, especially in the little cheat sheet I just read, talking about how you can work remotely. That's one thing that people are trying to maybe like, yes, I know I have to work at home, but I still want to social distance, but I got to get out of my four walls. Explain if you kind of adapted maybe, you know, you think of wine, you don't necessarily think of work. Maybe some people do, but yeah, so I actually, one of the businesses that gave me the idea to do this here in St. Pete, um, I was living in Denver, Colorado at the time, and there was a bookstore wine bar there called Book Bar. And the company I was working for was going through a big renovation. And so they sent us to work from home. And, you know, you can some of us can only work from home for so long. We, I've got to get out. I'm an extrovert. I need to see different things and change up my scenery. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would go work from this little bookstore wine bar that was also a coffee shop. So it's like you could go during the day, work, um, you know, be around the things that you love, have a nice break and, you know, shop the books and stuff. And then when five o'clock rolls around or six o'clock, um, get a glass of wine. And so I know that I spent a lot of time there when I was working from home. And so when I started designing book and bottle, I thought this is a place that like, you know, People aren't going to come in and start drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning every day. And so what can what can we do to give them a reason to be at Book and Bottle um, during these daytime stretches? And so we intentionally designed the bar to have um, plugs every two seats. You know, we made sure to have Wi-Fi that was available for the guests. We made sure to have tables in comfortable places that people felt like they could come and work. And that's really fun getting to see people working from the store and we've got regulars now who who come in and feel very productive in the mornings um, working from book and bottle. And I love it when people come up and they say like, I haven't been anywhere in town in public except for book and bottle because I have to get out of my house. I have to have somewhere to work. So that's really fun. Oh, I bet. I bet that's just heartwarming to hear. And of course, you mentioned the bar there that you can see. You do have snacks. You do have coffee, more than just wine too, right? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. We've got the full coffee bar so that um, you can caffeinate yourself during the day. We also have really good teas. Um, so for people who want, you know, maybe non-alcoholic and maybe non-caffeine as well, um, we've got a, a pretty fun tea lineup for how small the store is. 
I like that. Well, you know what? I want to get your thoughts, though, on something that I had said. Talking about learning things new. I think there are classes, too, that you offered, which takes Book and Bottle a step further for people to learn about. Yeah, at, at my heart, I... I guess I like sharing um, my passion with others. And so we decided to have wine classes and give people a chance to um, come in and learn a little bit more about wine. So it's not like sit down, take a bunch of notes, have a quiz at the end class. Um, we call them wine education happy hours because they're supposed to be just really fun and light. So bring a friend, bring your mom, um, sit down, we'll taste you through some wines, give you a little bit of background and education and fun facts. Um, so we're doing those right now about every other week usually on Tuesday evenings because we close a little earlier on Tuesdays, which allows us to get um, a private class in. So again, we can keep everybody distanced and safe. Oh, this is so great. Well, again, I'm so glad that we were able to keep it local, but the key in keeping it local is sharing the address. Where are you <laughs> located so people can Thanks come back with you? We are at 17 6th Street North in St. Petersburg, so right off of Central Avenue in downtown St. Pete. Good stuff, Tara. It was wonderful to meet you. Much success to you. I wish I could cheers. I don't have a book in my hand and I don't have a bottle of wine. Will do. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much. Have a good one. And we hope you stay with us because the show will continue right after the break.